The skipper key should present a square appearance, with its height at the withers being approximately equal to the length of its body, from point of chest to point of buttocks. This means that the body of the dog should fill a square, with the neck and head rising diagonally out of one corner. Let's begin our detailed evaluation of the skipper key with the head. From the side, the skull should appear very slightly rounded. The muzzle should be almost as long as the skull. The underjaw is strong and well-defined, but not blunt or squared off. The stop should be definite but not prominent. From the front, you can see that the skull is fairly wide at the base, narrowing at the eyes. You can see here that the skipper key expression is sharp and lively. Also notice the correct wedge shape of the head. This head is very faulty. The two round skull, prominent round eye, deep stop and pinched in muzzle detract from the desired expression. There is too abrupt a stop with a heavy brow. Not enough stop is as faulty as too much stop. Here, on the other hand, the muzzle is long in proportion to a too narrow skull. This muzzle is too fine and snipey. This skipper key lacks stop. The head should always balance with the body never appearing either too coarse and heavy or overly refined. The difficult art of breeding skipper keys is to produce the correct cobby body with a well-formed head. This correctly proportioned head includes a slightly rounded skull, a distinct but not prominent stop, and a well-proportioned strong muzzle. See how the upper jaw is well filled in under the eyes, allowing the muzzle to taper smoothly to the nose. And the lower jaw is somewhat less substantial, but neither blunt nor receding. Note also the correct straight bridge of the nose. A so-called Roman nose with its curved bridge is not desirable. The skipper key's nose should be small and black, like this. The bite must be scissors or level. Anything else is not acceptable. The skipper key's ears are an important component of the breed's alert, keen expression. They are erect, small, and triangular in shape. They should be placed high on the head, as these are. These large ears are too wide set. They are faulty and detract from desired breed expression. And these ears are set too low. Remember, both ears must always be erect. A semi-erect ear, or a drop ear, is a disqualification. Eyes are dark brown in color, like these, and are moderately small. They should be more oval shaped rather than round, although they may assume a more rounded shape when the dog is excited or alert. See how the eyes are placed forward on the head, rather than to the side, and are neither sunken nor prominent. These light-colored eyes are faulty, as are these large, round eyes. Two large, round eyes are sometimes accompanied by a domey, two-round head and short muzzle. Here again is the correct skipper key head, with a slightly rounded skull and correct skull to muzzle length proportion. Note also the correct wedge shape of the head and the erect small triangular ears placed high on the head and the oval shaped eyes. Taken together, the skipper key expression has been referred to as fox-like.